Hello Jokers, this is uh, another episode of Jokers Physiotherapy. Thanks for watching. My name is Tad from Metro Physiotherapy uh, and Injury Clinic, uh, also known as Jokers Physiotherapy. Now today I just wanted to talk to you about uh, bruxism. Now, bruxism in uh, lay layman's term is clenching and grinding at night, basically more, more of a grinding at night. Uh, this happened to me, it's a personal story. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why I got very uh, interested in the treatment of jaw problems. That my wife was a grinder and she kept waking me up and I had to constantly put my finger in her mouth to stop her from grinding so I can go back to sleep. But obviously my fingers were hurting and being a physiotherapist, I thought I should be able to do something. That's where I started uh, sort of training and investigating and you know, researching into jaw problems. Anyway, uh, many, after, many years after, well, here I am. Today I just wanted to introduce uh, some possible link between the the esophageal gastroesophageal reflux the the reflux uh, this is something people get when they're uh, lying flat on their back uh, the the food content from the stomach can sort of reflux back um, <clears throat> and it's a it's debilitating in a sense that uh, you can't lie flat at any at any point that means your sleep may be compromised if you if you like if you like sleep on your back you know if you're a back sleeper uh, it's hard anyway because you have to stack up a lot of pillows to sleep now there are a few uh, uh, medications like uh, you know different different kinds but of a proton pumping inhibitor so they're the ones that reduces the acid, that acid that causes the gastroesophageal reflux, or GRR. Uh, and uh, these guys are from researchers from Kagoshima University in Japan. They have discovered that there may be a, a link between uh, gastroesophageal reflux and uh, bruxing, uh, which is clenching and grinding at night. They have discovered that this is a very small study, but it, it was of a randomized controlled trial. Uh, and it was a version that... So these uh, seven researchers from Kagoshima University, uh, they published this paper in the Journal of Dental Research in 19, uh, 2016. Uh, they uh, put basically electrodes around uh, the left masseter muscle and they also recorded the sound of the grinding at night, which is the sleep bruxism. Uh, and they discovered that uh, the patients who um, were a grinder uh, and also had the gastroesophageal reflux, when they taken the uh, proton pumping inhibitor, uh, in this instance, they used rapeprazole, for PPI, the pro proton pumping inhibitor, uh, they discovered that uh, there was a, a significant uh, reduction in the frequency of EMG bursts, meaning they measured they were not recording as much clenching uh, muscle activation in the electrical magnet um, uh, muscle. Uh, uh, my myography, electro EMGs, electro myography, and also um, less episodes and less sounds uh, compared to the placebo uh, during their sleep. So their suggestion is, although the number researched was very small because there are only twelve subjects, uh, <clears throat> uh, it is a promising. Uh, research to, that is suggesting that if you are a grinder and a possible uh, issue with a reflux, taking the PPI can also help your reflux but also helps your grinding. So, um, obviously if you have any issues with your jaw problem, uh, in other ways, uh, we are happy to help at uh, Jokers Physiotherapy. 
uh, contact me uh, via our website um, and uh, the link is uh, below. Uh, now if you like these uh, series of DMJ or Jaw uh, information YouTube, please click like or subscribe for further videos and I look forward to uh, seeing you in another episode. Okay, so happy, happy Jokers. Cheers, bye.